Hi, in today's video, I will show you how to use a MIDI controller with Nanocortex. One of the first things that I noticed when there was a discussion about Neural DSP and their new product was the fact that, you know, there are only two foot switches. And they work fine, but I already knew that I needed at least three or four foot switches to get instant access to four presets. And this is what I had. This is the cheapest MIDI controller that you can get. I get it from AliExpress, you can get it from Amazon. Links will be in the description below. It's insanely cheap, I think it's around $40 or something like that, and it works really good. So, in today's tutorial I'll show you how to connect it into the Nano Cortex in order to change the presets. Okay, first of all we need to go to this website, and you have to download CubeSuite for Windows or Mac, depending on your system. You can also download a mobile app, but I don't know if I would recommend it, because it's an APK file that's not really safe, so I'd prefer to install it on Windows in my case. Okay, let's download it and install it. Okay, next, open the application and hook up USB-C cable from this device into the PC. Something like this should appear inside the CubeSuite, foot control. I won't go into too much details because actually this device is very powerful and you can do all kinds of like, custom modes, advanced custom modes, that kind of stuff. But you have to make sure to change it to Program Change A and TRS MIDI. And you're good to go. Okay, when we're done dealing with an application, next step is to plug the cable into the expression MIDI and then into the chocolate pedal input. And now we are able to change the presets using this. Okay, now we need to open an app, click Exit and Capture, and we're connected to our Nano Cortex. Okay, let's open Show All Presets. And right now, as you can see, I can change the presets. <laughs> Okay, let's change the bank to 2A. And that's it. Okay, and one more thing that I would highly recommend is I would go here into the settings and just to make sure, change it to MIDI and to Omni. It'd be completely fine on one because it's working on channel one. But you know, if for, for example, I go to seven, no, foot switches are not working. So the Omni is your safest bet. Thanks for watching, make sure to subscribe for more tips. You can download some of my tones on the Neural Cloud for free, so make sure to follow me here. You can find me under Galton Studio. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next video. Bye!